Okay, well, like I said, when my father <clears throat> ended up in uh, Ventura, uh, he was uh, about 20, 26, 27 years old. And uh, he, you know, worked with his cousins in the, in the fields and in orchards. And <clears throat> all, of the, all of the men were young men, single men, and, you know, in their mid-20s or early 20s. So they worked all day in the fields and uh, come home in the evening to the camp, which they had a labor camp. And they kind of like, uh, you know, tried to find some kind of <clears throat> recreation to keep them, you know, fun things to do after work or on the weekends. So they, you know, they were young men, so they, they played the sports, athletics, uh, baseball, uh, volleyball, and, and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> so there was enough men there, that single men, to establish different uh, teams of, uh, to play sports. So some of the some of the men who came from the Philippines brought along with them uh, games that they played in the Philippines. But one game was called the Sipa, and that's to kick the ball around with their foot and try to keep it in the air as long as they could, in, in kind of like in a long, big circle, and just keep the ball. They call it Sipa. <clears throat> Well, you know, they did that pretty much every day after work, and they got pretty good at it. And um, coincidentally, where their camp was in Ventura, <coughs> uh, they, uh, where they were playing their games, the girls, the local girls, local girls from high school and that lived in the area would pass by that camp and watch the men play their games. So that's how he first met my mother, when she would come by after school and watch him play. And then, uh, but she was still a young girl, but as, uh, as a, a, after a couple of years, uh, you know, he got acquainted with her and uh, she was born uh, in the area. She was from that, uh, raised in Ventura, but she was born in San Inez of a Native American Chumash descent. And uh, so she was a local local girl from the school there, and that's where they met. And did you want me to go on? Sure, yeah. Well, how you said they, how old was she? She was still in high school when they met? And then <laughs> yeah, when she, she met, when she met him, <clears throat> he was about 26, so she was about 16, mm -hmm. about 10 years, 10 years difference. And, uh, you know, in them days, uh, the men uh, uh, came here single, they're mostly singles, and there was hardly any women uh, that they, you know, could, uh, have um, friends with, so they got acquainted with a lot of local girls, and and you know that's how they got acquainted. And after I think about well from 1927 till uh, 20, uh, 1930, they he lived in the area, so they got very acquainted, and eventually, eventually, they. Uh, so he started courting her, and uh, you know they started uh, seeing each other and having relationship. And uh, as time went along, they uh, decided to leave. She was from a family. Um, she had one sister and her father. But her mother had already passed away, and uh, so she was a, you know, just her and her sister lived with her father. So when my father, uh, did, you know, started getting acquainted with her, they decided to leave to move away and elope to 
Santa Maria, California. So they look up the coast from Ventura to Santa Maria. And uh, my father uh, continued to work in the fields and they, they didn't, they were called at the time a uh, common law marriage because they didn't, they, they actually didn't get married. Mm -hmm. So they just lived together. And um, after so many years, uh, <clears throat> they, it was a common law marriage. And uh, <clears throat> so, you know, it, it was during the 1930, early 1930s, and uh, it uh, was hard times uh, during the Depression years. And so he uh, could only get a work in, in, the, in the fields. And that's what he did in Santa Maria. And then more children came along. And I was the first, uh, I was the first born in, uh, you know, I was already born, uh, two years old when they finally moved up to Santa Maria. And then the second child was born in Santa Maria, which was my brother. And then they, they had a total of six kids. <clears throat> four boys and two girls, and uh, they lived uh, in this area all through those depression years and, and when the, during the war, when the war, Second World War came along, we lived in this area. And uh, so we were raised in San Maria, but mostly on a farm, uh, on, uh, living, in, living in these farmhouses uh, in the agricultural. Um, did they, when they, um, well you said eloped, that they were common law married, was it something that her family was okay with or that her father No, approved? no, it was, uh, it was, it wasn't, uh, you know, a favorable, uh, event. Her father didn't want her to, to leave and, and to marry, didn't want her to go with this man, uh, during that time, there was hardly any Filipinos in the area. They, they kind of like were new in the area, like recent years. So they really didn't establish themselves that much amongst the local Mexicans or Indians or whites. So <clears throat> the Filipino was kind of like, wasn't uh, looked upon as one of the locals. So no, I wasn't a, a, a uh, favorable relationship in the beginning in regard to her father but they, they eloped anyway and uh, like I said her mother was already had already passed away and uh, so my mother was very young when she went with him uh, uh, personally I think it was more of a, uh, uh, a choice that she made uh, um, wanting to get away from where she was because the times were were were, were bad. She she was didn't finish high school. Uh, <clears throat> she um, well, I want to tell the whole story. You know the way it was. Uh, she got pregnant with me when she was a young girl, and when my father, when Arcadio came along he accepted her with the one child, which was me. And so when they went, when they eloped, uh, I was already her child. So, and, but it wasn't a, uh, like a, you know, a wedding type of thing or <clears throat> a uh, favorable thing, a relationship in the beginning because he was 10 years older than her and she was very young and she wanted to get away. So she, I guess she reluctantly lived in these, uh, you know, lived with him in these uh, farmhouses and locally. And, 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 you know, there was other families that lived the same way. They were poor and, you know, a very hard time of living. So, you know, everybody just survived mm -hmm. day to day. So.